G'day guys. Today I don't want to be Al. Um, I want to be Grooves on a driver face. You see? This is the driver face and I'm the Grooves. Get it? Which would be normal, but today we're not, it's not normal. This is out of bounds. This is what we're facing. That's scary. <laughs> You see that, don't you? Well, the lengths we'll go to to try and hit the ball straighter. So this is, as you can see, the vertical groove driver, designed to hopefully make me hit the golf ball 40% straighter. Yeah. Again, it's out of bounds. We tend to poke fun at the very strange products that enter this playlist however this thing does come with again some bragging rights kenny perry won the us senior open with this thing and actually the legend that is john daly switched to this won and ended a 13-year drought so it obviously performs to a certain extent but again the argument here is these guys are awesome they could win with a bag full of drumsticks it's did this really do that much to make john and kenny win on tour, what we're about to find out. So before we dive into a bit more information about the vertical driver and hit some shots, we need to compare this to a, I wanna say normal, horizontal driver. So as always, we've got Tiger's M5 driver here. I'm gonna hit a few shots with this first, get some numbers on the board before we move to the vertical. Whose back garden are we gonna to enter today? Sounds awful. I'd like to take that comment back, if possible. Thanks. Okay, bit out the heel, straight down the middle. That's what we're looking for. Good luck, vertical driver. Oh, on a string. Don't see that very often. Oh, come on. Vertical driver? Yeah, still good luck. Again, fairway finder, no awards for ball striking there. Saved by the toe. Okay, so that's the horizontal shots done. Put those in the bank. Have it. The marketing department. Um, so we've changed the grooves. What should we call this driver? I know. The, the, the groove. Right. There's a 450 cc head we've stuck an aftermarket x-flex aqua shaft in it because why not and i had to because i just ordered the head so it would have been a problem i can't just throw the head at the ball i've tried that before doesn't work and then we get to these vertical grooves so the theory behind this is like i say straighter drives with vertical golf saying that basically most golfers play with excessive side spin so whether you're a slicer you play with an out to win swing path you're coming across the ball these grooves are designed to just grip that stop it in its tracks and well in theory hit it straighter what grooves do on a driver face is um i think very minimal uh, it is it's all about gear effect it's strike location so you hit it toe the heel obviously unless you're changing the structure of the head and the weighting, I don't think it's gonna make any difference, but we'll see. I'm excited about this. There's no head weight at all, it's so light. Stick a disc drive in that and it is literally an Xbox 360. I'm sorry, it is. That, from a visual, perspective has a lot of backspin 4,000 3,400 not as bad as what I thought starting us off that's probably the most wayward shot we've had up to yet but that was not a great swing the other side even out the averages not that short though that's not 
that short at all. Can't say I'm going to be gaming this. Straight then. That felt better. It performs, you see. It wouldn't be my first choice of driver, but we're not saying it's rubbish because, well, that could be the longest. Oh, it's not. I'd like you guys to comment down below though. Have you tried this? This is a couple of years old now. It's not new. Um, have you tried it? Have you bought one? Don't be ashamed. Comment down below. Let us know. Hmm. I have no doubt. You see this and you'll be like, wow, it's wayward. But the reason for that is quite simply, I'm not used to what I see down at the ball. If I got used to this, I have no doubt I would probably hit it as well as the first driver, the horizontal groove driver, but I'm not comfortable <laughs> with what I see down at the ball, which as I've always said, plays a bigger part in driver performance than what you probably think it does. That's 4,000 backspin. 4,000 backspin. Get in. It's not a good thing. So last one before we compare the numbers, and I think we know what we're going to see. Um, it's just proof that strike is key. Grooves on the face, you see them now. Drivers have just painted on grooves, which proves some of the best drivers in the world realise that you don't need grooves. It's almost like a point where it, the ball barely touches the face. It's, it's like that quick. Like you can't blink fast enough, it's that fast. So grooves aren't gonna, we ain't got time to do anything really. They just stand watching like, good day. Does that make any sense? Probably not. Feel, all right, sounds, all right, I suppose. Um, but I know people that would happily play this and I wouldn't stop them if they feel comfortable with it. Um, I can still get it out there. Performance wise, it's still there, but what it's trying to say it's doing, uh, I don't think it is. It's not, okay? Um, unfortunately, gear effect is king here. And you'll be able to see straight away I've had a bad ball striking day. Doesn't matter what driver I've got in my hand, nothing, and I mean nothing, is gonna help me. Um, strike location is not centered. It's scattered showers around the face. But to be honest with you, for this sort of test, this is kind of how I wanted to be hitting it. I don't want to be hitting the center every time because the spiel about this driver is to stop side spin. So we hit seven shots with horizontal, seven shots with vertical so we're 120 mile an hour with the vertical club head speed 119 club head speed with the horizontal so we're faster with the vertical same ball speed at 173 backspin was 3197 with the vertical and um, 2593 with the horizontal and as much as we can intensely delve into the dispersion patterns here it ain't going to make any difference because I could probably play those shots again and these would be reversed. Like I say, strike is everything. So we can't, even though it's clear that the vertical groove driver here is more erratic, we've got more lefts. But as we know, as much as we love to blame our tools, yeah, it's me. So a few of you will be interested in the distances. Vertical 291 carry yards to horizontals 295 yards. And then because of the backspin differences, vertical is rolling out to 308 to the difference of horizontals 317. So that backspin obviously is a huge hindrance on total distance, which is kind of what we want to gain really. So on the grand scheme of things, uh, the vertical driver didn't win any particular category here. It did win one thing on a personal level. Sounds a bit like a backhander compliment, but it performed much better than what I thought it would. Um, I thought it looked a little bit gimmicky. I thought it's definitely gonna have that tinny sound and feel. And to be honest with you, it didn't feel that bad. So kudos to Vertical Golf for that. If you play this, I really wouldn't be ashamed. I mean, like I said, 
some of the best senior players in the world now are playing this and winning with it. So if it was that bad, they wouldn't be winning with it. So just a quickish video. I didn't want to drag this one out. I just wanted to test it because I was intrigued with the whole concept of this thing. So another Out of Bounds finished. If you've not seen the other videos, make sure you check out the Out of Bounds season one and season two playlist, guys. Always appreciate the support. Thank you very much. If you're not a part of the team, I'll make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow us on social media. The links are below. Thank you. Thank you.